Hi guys, good morning. I'm in lovely Wardley, as you can see. Um, it is Friday the 15th of November, and um, I'm here to make a video regarding my old uh, neighbourhood. So, keep watching. So um, I'm in Wardy right now, and um, I've got my little camera. Um, so yeah, I moved here when I was seven or eight years old. That was in 1992, and um, my mother had just gotten married. Um, so we've got this lovely three-bedroom house in Wardley, which I'll show you later on Nice day today for change. Still play football in these fields. I'm on the phone and uh, he's just done his business and I have to pick it up. <laughs> you know, I've had this call for the past month and a half. I've seen my GP and um, I've been for an x-ray at the hospital. But they haven't uh, brought me back yet. <clears throat> so yeah, I used to play football in these fields a long time ago. It hasn't changed in the past, past 25 years. Maybe more than that, 30, 30 years maybe. Yeah, 30 years. <clears throat> I bought this little adapter thing for my backpack to hold the camera in because when I made prior videos it was very bumpy and um, obviously one of my hands was occupied throughout 
This was an old railway track at one point. It goes quite far down. <laughs> Used to make dens in those bushes. Little forts, you know, what kids do. Yeah, it was a good place to hide. So this is Sherman Way. I had some friends who lived here. Football friends. I'm sure they've long gone by now. But, uh, when I first came here in 1992, I realised that... Um, That's uh, had a lot of green space compared to my prior uh, flat I lived in in 1990. These houses are about 50 years old, I think, maybe 40 years old. They still look fairly new. Uh, I mean, these are very 70s, 80s buildings with the adjacent uh, garages. <coughs> this is my street, seat close. here at one point. Um, used to play in these garages football all the time. That was my house on the end. We'll see in more detail further on. <clears throat> I'm going to Manchester in two weeks time. I just hope it's cold, it goes away, this cough goes away in time. Yeah, this place brings me a lot, a lot of memories. That tree hasn't changed. Um, these houses haven't changed really. <clears throat> this was my old place, number 18. And changed. This might be a good place to take a, a thumbnail pick. Now in that far house over there was a, f a friend of mine called Scott. We were inseparable. Um, when we were younger, played football together. Didn't have fancy goal posts or anything in those days. We just had a couple of uh, jumpers on the floor and a ball, obviously. <clears throat> I 
used to claim these garages. <laughs> I have no idea how I managed to not fall down and get hurt, but I didn't, never. It was so good. Climbing things when I was a kid. Not trees though, but... Um, I had a friend in this house here called Anthony and uh, I used to kick the ball around over here in this little space. I often fantasised about making a stadium here at one point. I suppose a kid's imagination is uh, unlimited. But yeah, I used to play here. to draw gold posts on the brickwork using stone or chalk that would be our goal Many years ago I did live in Leem Lane, which isn't too far from here. But then we moved to Bencham and then back to here in 1992. We've got the Hewath Golf Club here. It's not so, oh, still the same same name. Uh, yeah. It hasn't changed 20 years, 30 years. So a path here, but I don't really care. Just don't walk. <laughs> I always have fond nostalgia here. I did come back to live here in 2005. Uh, but it wasn't the same. It wasn't the same as being, being a kid. When I was a kid, though, it wasn't the same. Um, so come back here. In 2005, it wasn't the same as when I was a kid living here with all my friends because they uh, had all moved on by then. Uh, different houses, different areas, that sort of thing. This is what I first saw with my own eyes when we first moved here. Went into this little cut here. Oh, sorry, Shivana, Shivan Way. That's say Shivan Avenue at the beginning. Probably. But, uh, there we go. Shivan Way. Got the uh, school, White Mere Primary, just over there. But yeah, I would play football in here as well. Good times. There was a boy that lived there called Lee Smith and we would play on that field there. Again, just two courts, there's goal posts. We would go in there, play video games. Yep, carefree times. Such a lovely little last little um, street view. in 2008 I had a girlfriend who lives here in this area got the school here to the right White Mere School which hasn't changed in 30 years this is where my girlfriend used to live there Went to her 18th birthday party. There was quite a, an age gap of about eight years, so her mother, her mother wasn't happy with me dating her, but there you go. It's history. Yeah, hasn't changed the school much. Further afield, there is a, well, a field where I used to play football and um, 
I actually knew Chris's, Chris Waddle's um, nephew who played against us a few times. Morning. There was a certain name for this place, but as we kids would call it, the mud fields, something like that. And uh, yeah, we'll play there, football. And uh, Chris Wall's nephew will play against us on here. I mean, we'd mostly lose because they had obviously better players than us. But our team was first called Seaton Close after a street name, obviously. And um, I think they became Wardley Warriors, I think. So. Like I say, all these houses are like 50 years old, maybe, 40. They're not old and decrepit. Very nice. These ones were built later on when we were kids. Um, so there was a park there at one point. There was a park there. There's not a lot to uh, show you, really. I had a friend that lives there. We used to collect bangles and pogs back in the day. But yeah, I lived here between 1992 to 1999 and um, I had loads of friends here during that time. But I came back here in 2005, they either all left the area, the parents have moved, um, so it wasn't the same, it wasn't the same, but I always have fond nostalgia of this place, this is where I grew up as a kid, between the age of 7 and 15, would stay out late till the lights went on, which kids don't do much these days. Just sit around on the computers, video games, indoors mostly now, but yeah, being a kid back in the 1990s was just fantastic. So that concludes our video of Wardley in my former neighbourhood. So if you enjoyed this video, give a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.